And after a weekend of horror movies and video games, I'm back with Soul Blazer. Actually, I spent most of the last few hours uh, getting a Dreamers Night 3 ready. Still don't have a cover for it, but uh, I've done everything I can think of to reach my cover artist, and she's not responding, so. I'm probably gonna make a mock. Or I already have a mock cover. I might set it up and so I can get my proof copy and start start uh, proofreading that. It's just easier for me to have a physical copy. Okay, now this is actually my favorite level in Soul Blazer. I hate to talk about the game, but um, this is Dr. Leo's house, beneath which is the machine which summoned the death toll. Which is kind of an interesting idea when you think about it. He built a machine to summon the devil. I'm, I don't even know where I'd start with that. Maybe the heart and soul, or hearts of orphans, or I don't know. A few gallons of virgin blood. I, I don't know. If you were gonna summon the devil via technology, and you know Twitter's already been done, what would you use? Hmm. Oh, these here are a little bit tricky. You got the inchworms here that like to jump from side to side. But the big trouble is there's a lot of enemies here that are immune to metal. <laughs> the good news is, the metal sword is here. In fact, it's not too far off. I'm gonna try to get everything I can, then I'll head back into Dr. Leo's house, and I should be able to get the metal sword, which I think is called the Zantetsuken. Zantetsuken? Probably pronouncing that wrong. I will save the backtracking uh, to the other levels for another web episode, though. Probably make it an episode into itself. Hey, might not be a bad idea, not a bad time for me to do another short story reading. Let's see. In addition to this, yeah, more immune enemies. Oh, honestly, mostly I've been playing Stardew Valley. Something about the Harvest Moon series and the similar games is just. I don't know, it's. I have to say it's a guilty pleasure. Well, it's kind of strange to say guilty, because I'm not really ashamed of it, it's just... It's a farming simulator. On paper, that sounds extremely boring, and... I don't know, I can't explain it. It's just really entertaining. It's not like Minecraft, where I think oh, everybody would like... Everyone would like Minecraft. Anyone... You put anyone in, like, in a chair and pour a bunch of Legos in front of them, you're going to be hard-pressed to find someone who's not going to enjoy themselves. Whew, these things hit hard. Okay, we got... We just need to get into that room. No, not that room. Might be that room. It should, we have to release a door, which... Again, if everything here is sealed by Death Toll, under the deal the king made for a gold piece for each living creature, why are their doors sealed away? It, it, not just inanimate doors, they talk. Some of the doors will just talk to you. In fact, you need to talk to one of them. Uh, he's one of your buddies from the sky who follows you in a little floating uh, light orb thing. The plants I get. The, even the dolls, which pop up in later in this one, I get. But the doors and the cupboards. I mean, even the stumps had, like, new growth in them. Every, did he really get a gold piece for every piece of furniture, is what I'm saying. If so, maybe he was a better uh, wheeler and dealer than I gave him credit for. Anyway, I think we've got everything we can get now, so let's head back to the house and see if we can get that sword. At least I thought I was going to head back to the house. And again, I'm gearing up do these things on the go rather than the pre-recording like I'm doing now, but I'm not there yet, so. Let's see, uh, yeah, Dream Percent 3's gone, that went pretty well. I was just doing, like, the physical version, so. Physical version is a lot easier to do than the ebook. The ebook has a lot of hyperlinking, and that's oddly time-consuming. <laughs> Got to whenever I edit anything, I just edit the uh, ebook version because it's easier to set up. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Oh, and there we go. The Zanzet Zanzetsu sword. Zanzetsu. Okay. Yep. 
and it is right there. Defeats monsters with special armor. Anything like any metallic of monsters. We still can't kill like the the phantom ones, like the sons from level two. That's okay though. That comes in the next level. Actually, we're not too far from the end. There's this level, the next level, which is the castle of the king who did all this. And then there's the very uh, last level, which is sort of Death Toll's realm. It's not so much restoring an area, but sort of like a last dungeon. Well, of course, I'll do a video where I go back and get the, all the Master's emblems. Uh, I'll go kill the metal monsters and unlock everything they've got. When I get the Phantom Sword, I'll go back and kill the Phantoms, unlock whatever they've got. I don't think there's anything else really secret in this game. Uh, and we'll have to go through the last level to get the pieces for the Phoenix Magic. But other than that, yeah, we should be uh, good to go. Not much left of the game. Let's see. And we've got a... Cat. chat. They probably pronounce both improperly. Okay. Yeah, these guys are annoying. They don't have like a. I don't know. Like some enemies have like a certain distance they'll go before they like have a turn. They'll turn. These ones here, they just home in on you. These sets here where we're just all sort of lined up. Oh, what else have we been doing lately? Uh, we're watching Marble Hornets again. Great series if you haven't seen it, especially if you're a horror fan. Uh, featuring, uh, well, I can't say the Slender Man because it's not technically the Slender Man. It's, uh, they refer to him as the Operator. Ooh, okay, I got it. Good. <laughs> I had my healing herb equipped. Smart. Good thinking. Me? But yeah, they technically call him the Operator. And given that the series started, I want to say back whenever the uh, Slender Man was first created in the Something Awful forum. It's a, uh, I don't know. Back back then, it was like so new. I, I don't know. I don't know what's happened. I mean, I guess it kind of got oversaturated. But, man, I remember when I, I remember picking up like that uh, the set of the Slender Man uh, maps. Basically, it's like Slender Man in like a bunch of different environments. It used to be so scary, but now... I don't know. The last thing I picked up that was scary was a, Anatomy. And I haven't even finished it yet. That's how scary it is. You know, actually, that might not be a bad idea. Maybe I'll do that next, just for the heck of it. No scare cam, because, quite frankly, I'm frightfully ugly. But, uh... I don't know, you can hear my reaction. I'd make it a little bit easier, too, because quite frankly, I... I was good. I, I stopped playing because I was, like, a little bit terrified. I kept expecting something to jump out. There may not be a jump scare in the game, but it has such a great atmosphere. I just... Mm. I wish I could find more like that these days. There used to be so many good horror games, and... I feel like I've played all the good ones, and... Even the ones like I play now, like uh, Bindi and the Ink Machine, it's not so much scared, so it, it's gotten a few jumps out of me. And I, I do like the game, Bindi and the Ink Machine. Beautiful aesthetic. I like the premise. But, uh... I don't know, it's been a long time since I've had that sense of dread when playing a game. I remember the first time I played Silent Hill well into the PlayStation 2 era. It just blew my mind. Even with the, the graphics being outdated at the time, it's just such a wonderful atmosphere. It's so important for a horror game. It's a, I guess it comes back to like Marble Hornets. I, I love the, uh, the atmosphere of the series. It's just... Oh, I'll admit, though, I've been listening to the commentaries after, like, watching from the DVD sets. I picked the, I bought the first two. I need to buy the third. But, uh, love the commentaries, by the way. 
hear some great stories about the creation of the series. But it's going to ruin, like, the, the fear. <laughs> if you haven't seen it before, watch the entire series. And then go back and watch the commentary. Because it, it'll ruin it for you. <laughs> I gotta say, it was, it was much more enjoyable than a lot of the, the big AAA uh, commentaries I've been listening to lately. Stuff like, um... Oh, yeah, I have to equip the ice armor. The thing is, if you forget about it, these monsters here will crucify you. Do so much damage. And these, like, these red spots in the pipes are everywhere. It's, I don't know. It seems like they just threw that here just to do that. Just to annoy people. No, oh, well, gotta have challenge in your game somehow. I'm actually looking for a copy of uh, Lego Undercover today. I'm gonna give that a try. Don't know how I'm gonna record that. My computer is really not up for that kind of thing anymore. It will be. But we'll, I'll get a new computer sooner or later. Right now, I'm just trying to get my bills put down. Lucky I didn't go for the student loan thing. That would at least, at least what I've done now. It, like my debt now is my fault. I can freely admit that. It's not like the student loan where I will, people have been intentionally built by greedy banks. Let's see more here. I think this is the last room for this part of the lab. Yeah, this area is going to split into four areas. The last one contains the boss. The first one's this uh, underground area. This underground uh, part of the machine. The last part of this is technically part of the machine, too. Oddly enough, you'd think if the machine was with the sun death toll, he'd be in the machine. But, no. Uh, I don't remember what the boss is at the top of my head now. Oh, well, in any case, uh, the other two areas are kind of different, though. <laughs> and we'll get to that in a minute. But, uh, even playing this the first time, it kind of threw me off guard. I remember getting through this area and being like, well, where am I going next? Movies. I did see uh, a cure for wellness. Really liked that, I, and it kind of reminded me of that Leonardo DiCaprio movie, the one who went to the asylum. I can't remember the name of it. Good one though. I had a nice twist to it. This here, it didn't hit. I was, I kind of thought it was going to go for the same twist, but they didn't. And I, th I like it a little bit better for it. Definitely had some good gross-out moments and a very eerie atmosphere. Bit of a slow burn, though, so... I know some people need their horror fast and furious, and some people... Oh! Dang, I wasn't paying attention. Fortunately, I thought to have the uh, strange bottle equipped, so all my jewels, my gems are intact. Okay... About this level, I like the way that whenever you bring things back, it starts repairing the house. You never repair everything. But, um... Oh, yeah. Got to eat to live, but, uh... It's kind of strange that everything talks to you. Yeah, we're gonna need something from one of the plants. Yeah, the two models. That's where the, uh, the other two dungeons in this room they are. Similar to, like, in the, uh, level one. Before we have to jump into a painting, we're going to be jumping into model towns. Okay. Which is upstairs. Oh, I haven't unlocked the upstairs yet, though. Well, yeah, I have. I just... No, that's not the upstairs. Let's go back to the... Man, I gotta go all the way back, too. For just a few of them. That's the worst part. I do want to ask, I mentioned something, um, I'm really into horror movies, but I have a hard time finding ones that are really good, and I want, I like to go on Netflix to look through it, but people just rail on the horror movies in the Netflix section. They fixed it for a while, they, like, reset it or something, but, uh, it's still hard to find a good horror movie. Yeah, sometimes it's just best to run through it. So, uh, hey, if you've got a suggestion for a horror movie you think is really good, and I've seen most of the classics, 
like newer horror movies, let's say 2015 up, please let me know. Let me know in the comments. I'd, I'd like to know some of the good, better ones. Most recent ones I watched that I really liked were uh, Avatar. That was really good. Uh, Digging up the marrow, I liked. I'm, I'm here. I'm kind of in the uh, minority on that. Surprisingly, I've never played watched it through Hat Hatchet. Hatchet kind of did that thing in horror movies I always hated, or uh, the characters make themselves such wankers in the first few minutes. I just don't care to see them survive. <laughs> Maybe that's the point. Maybe I'm supposed to sit back and enjoy these idiots getting killed, these like typical college students or whatever. But uh, I don't know. I'm just, it's a cliche I've seen so many times, and I just, it blows my mind, because if you don't like the characters to the point where you don't really don't care if they survive or not, it kills any horror the movie has, because you just don't care. Okay, we got, oh, upstairs, finally. Steps, another living being he got paid for, by the way. I have to take a break from this proofreading. For that wasn't proofreading. I was uh, edit I was formatting. I was formatting the book three of Dreamers Night. Uh, Dreamers Night Flights of Fancy into its physical form. Uh, I use the same size for paperback and hardback. Well, it's because as I've grown up, I don't care for like those little pocket books anymore. They're just not comfortable to hold. I, I like the bigger books. Reminds me, I just got paid. I gotta see if I can. I was gonna look at see if there's a I can get a copy of uh, Guards Guards by Terry Pratchett in hardback. Love that book. Fantastic series. I, I hate to promote someone else's series over my own, but I have to honor the master, man. That guy. We're gonna miss him. Yeah, his series ended the best way possible. It didn't even end. I wouldn't see it called an ending. It's just like. Mentally, I can see it continue. I can see some of the movie named the successor for Terry Pratchett and continue on the Discworld series. Similar in vein to Cthulhu or the Cthulhu Mythos or you know, anything really. To me, the last book's always going to be Raising Steam, where they bring the uh, steam locomotive into the fa like the world of the Discworld. It just seemed like a good compilation of so many of the other story sets. You have like the Ludwig, uh, Mois von Ludwig, uh, from uh, was going postal and making money. You have, uh, <sighs> yeah, you gotta like that. <laughs> I free you from an uncertain fate. We are gonna glance past the fact that you're a door, and now you're gonna require me to get a key to open it. R really? I had to free you. You think I could just free the doorway and left the door hidden? Oh well. This guy's asleep, so we know what we gotta do here. Anyway, long story short, if you uh, read Terry Pratchett, I recommend the uh, the Guards series, starting with Guards Guards, and moving on to uh, to what was it? Um, Minute Arms. Sorry if I get this wrong, by the way. Is it Minute Arms? The Feet of Clay? Or the Fifth Elephant? I think there's one in there I've missed. I haven't actually hit it right myself, and I don't know what the name is. I need to look it up. But the, the Fifth Element, Night Watch, which is really good. Night Watch is night, was the first one I read where Terry Pratchett isn't just a ma master of like, writing comedy. The stories have a serious note to them, and it, it's so weird because uh, for a story to have you laughing and at the same time have you tense. Oh well. I thought it was the Fifth Element Night Watch, uh, Thud, which was like I think my it was my introduction to the series, uh, the Guard series anyway. And what was after Thud? So, snuff, I think. Yeah, I think it was Snuff. Oddly enough, not a reference to um, the films, but to Tobacco. 
Actually, the first Discworld books I read were the ones about Rincewind. Mostly because of the PlayStation Adventure games, which implied goofy logic times ten. Okay, we got the key. <laughs> Still kind of makes me mad. But it was a good thing because this guy has Mystic Armor with him. We need the Mystic Armor because I think it has... No, it makes you invisible for a longer period of time, which is useful. And it's just a little bit stronger anyway, so that's useful. Okay. Well, we're going to get in front of the... Yeah, I think it's about time for us to stop this time. Okay, so... Let's see. Yep, here we go. Yep, well, we're going to restart, and we'll go into the first thing. So I'll see you then.